Today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite ways to make Anki more efficient. You may have heard about this, but this is something called filtered decks. So let's go ahead and show the screen recording and I'll walk you through how to set it up and when it's best to be used. Step number one, throw in a Zen pouch. I'm kidding, kind of. So what we're doing here is we're looking at Anki, the home screen, and you'll see that I don't even have an Anki deck loaded in, and that was on purpose. So we're gonna use um, the Anking plus IFD MCAT deck here. Now, what I'm gonna show you will work with any deck, but I like this one right here. Um, I think it's set up really easily to use filter decks, and I think it's also got the best resources for the MCAT. So we'll use this Anking MCAT deck, but feel free to apply this to like a mile down deck or the, the, not Robocop, the Rebop one, um, Ortho 528, whatever, whichever deck that you like using, feel free to apply filter decks to it. But we will be using this, um, this Anking MCAT plus IV high yield guide deck. You'll see here, once I've imported it, all that we're looking at now is just the entirety of both decks. So you've got this Anking deck, which is, um, we'll browse it and I'll kind of walk you through quickly what it is. It's a model down deck and it's also got the Kaplan, it's also organized by Kaplan chapter. Um, you can see down here at the bottom in tags. So first let's talk about the purpose of filter decks and why I think it's valuable. I like using filter decks because it allows you to separate your studying by specific topic. So for medical school, I've used it to study by rotation. So I'll, I'll use a deck for um, neurology and psychiatry and um, surgery and things of that nature. But for the MCAT, it can be really helpful because you can separate it into um, like a CP, BB, Psych, Soch, three separate decks, or you can separate it into a biochemistry, organic chemistry, et cetera deck. And sometimes that can speed up your workflow because you're already in the correct mind frame whenever you're working through Anki. Now, anything that can speed you up even just a little bit on every single card, even if you shave half a second off of every single card, when you're doing four or 500 of these a day, that really saves you some time. It's important to me to save you all time because I know how busy it is to be a pre-med student. If you're not familiar with me or this channel, my name's John. I am a third year medical student. I spent, I guess at this point, it's like half a decade tutoring the MCAT. I did it for some of the big names. I freelanced. I've um, got my own company here now called IFD. And we like to make YouTube resources to make sure that everybody, not just those that can pay you know, $6,000 for a program, have access to some of the behind the scenes action that goes on in those big names um, and those expensive prep courses. It is difficult to keep doing this during medical school and if you're following the channel you know we, we you notice that we slowed down our cadence a little bit. We intend to pick that back up but you subscribing and you sharing the channel really gives us all that we need to keep on pushing so we're very thankful to you for that. But now let's talk about filter decks. You see here we've got all the cards unsuspended. Um, we have several videos that walk you through how to use this deck specifically and in a course that we'll be re releasing hopefully in the beginning of 2024. Um, there may be a pre-sale on Black Friday. There may not be. We'll see. We'll see how quickly we can get it done. Um, but this Anki course will be included in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly set up a deck to show you how, how fast you can do it. Then I'm gonna slow down and walk you through how to do it. And then um, really after that, you'll have all you need to set up a basic filter deck. And then I'll walk you through some of the more like um, fancy ways that you can do it. Uh, I, I just really encourage you not to waste too terribly much time with Anki. You know, there is a learning curve whenever you start with Anki. It'll take you like few days a week to get proficient at it. And hopefully with this course that I was referencing earlier, that, that time lapse can be um, significantly diminished. But once you get these filter decks set up, it makes your daily flow a lot faster, which means that you can study for your classes, you can work out, you can go on a date or two, you know, you can do fun stuff with your life. So that's what we're really focused on here. So let's say that I'm a student that wants to organize my deck by um, subject. Like maybe I like to study gen chem separate from biochem and separate from psych so, so I don't you know, kind of run into things. Um, so let's say first we're going to set up this biochemistry deck. Now an important caveat is that you have to already have cards unsuspended whenever you go to create a filtered deck, which at this point, if you're to the point where you're overwhelmed with your, your full deck, you know, the on King deck, then you probably already have cards unsuspended. But let me show you just how quickly it can be done. So what you do is you hit the hotkey F and it'll bring you to this filtered deck screen. You can also go to tools and click create filtered deck and then you'll name it. Um, let's say biochem is gym and that's just going to be what you see pop up. That's the name of the filter deck. And then we're going to set the criteria for what we want that filter deck to actually pull from the main deck. So what a filter deck does is it filters the deck. So you've got your whole main deck, which has every card that you have unsuspended. So then a filter deck, what it does is it sucks some of those cards out that match the criteria we're about to prescribe it. Um, for example, biochemistry, it sucks the cards out from the main deck into the biochem deck. So you can study just biochem or just ochem. So just keep that in mind whenever you are entering in these filters. So for biochem as a gem, all we have to do is set up the search criteria. So I'm gonna come here and let's say that I like using the Kaplan books. They're very thorough. Um, 
So we'll come and we will click biochemistry under the Kaplan books. And we will go up here to the top tagline, make sure you've got all of it selected. You can control A it and then copy that. Come in here and you paste it into the search criteria. Then you have to do a little bit of like, it's not coding, it's not coding, but don't throw up here, it's okay. Type in a space and then you type in is colon do or and then paste it again is colon new. Set your limit to 9999 because we out here grinding. We're trying to make them 520s. And I like clicking most lapses first. That, that pretty much means the card that you suck at the most, you're going to see the first, which is helpful for me because um, whenever I'm like caffeinated and ready to go in Anki, I want to see what I suck at. Um, and that way, whenever I'm kind of like exhausted, I see the easy cards at the end. You click build and boom, it's done. So now we've got all of our Biochem as a gem cards. You see that it uh, decreased the amount of cards from my main Anking deck to 4,400 where it was like over five grand. It sucks those cards into this Biochem deck. Now you can, if you want to do all your cards at once, you can come and empty them and it'll throw those back into this main deck. Or you can come down here and hit rebuild, which you should do before you study any filter deck and it'll suck those cards back down into it. So you can see here, if we go through this Anking deck, um, none of these are biochemistry, right? All this is like Gen Chem cards. But if we come to Biochem as a gym deck, now, hey, we're just talking about respiration. So it's solely biochemistry, and that way you can really focus in on, um, you know, maybe, maybe the things you suck at, you can give your, your best effort to right off the bat. So they're really, really helpful. So that's all it takes. You set it up that quickly. Um, now let me kind of walk you through setting one up for organic chemistry, a little bit slower. So again, we're going to hit F to open up our filter deck, and we're going to type in Ochem sucks. That's mean. I like OCAM. And then remember, the next thing we do is we set up search criterion. So let's get a little bit fancier this time. Let's say we used the Kaplan books, but uh, we didn't love them. They weren't everything we needed. Maybe we watched a couple Khan Academy videos too. Maybe you followed the free program that we're about to drop in probably a couple weeks is when we drop this one that uses all, all of the uh, Khan Academy videos. But you still used the Kaplan books. So we'll include the Kaplan books. Remember, you paste it is colon do or is colon new, or wait, or paste it again, is colon new, or we want some Khan Academy action in there too. So now we come back to the tag and we scroll down here. Boom, OCAM, copy it. <clears throat> Go to the end space, paste it, is colon new, or paste it again, space is colon do. Bam, now we've got our Okim deck. Not that bad, there's only 100 Okim cards. Oh wait, no I didn't, let's see. You can also go in options and to edit it. So I didn't do all that work right there. We changed the number. So then, bam, there's all your, your Okim cards. Now let's say you wanted to make your bio deck. Um, and let's say you might have used the Khan Academy chapters for bio, or the Khan Academy videos for bio. So we will, Copy that. Is colon new or paste is colon do. But let's also say you bought the IFD guide and you read it and you just loved our explanation of the central dogma. You're like, these guys really get genetics. So what we're going to do is same thing. Copy it, space, paste is colon new or Paste is colon do. The new cards allows you to pull up the blue ones, uh, and I'll show you that. Whenever you're coding it and you're saying is colon new, what that does is it allows you to pull these blue cards out of the deck. When you say is colon do, it allows you to pull up these red cards or these green cards explicitly. So that's it. That's how you make a basic filter deck, and it should really speed up your flow because you can kind of focus in on which subject you want to study and learn at one specific time. But let's say you want to get a little bit fancier with it. You can. You surely can. So let me show you how to use filter decks to set up something like, let's say you, um, let's say you follow the IFD channel, you know that there are a certain amount of topics that are real, real high yield, like amino acids, classical conditioning, um, opera conditioning, things like that. So let me show you how to set those up. The flow is very similar. So you'll start off by clicking F, setting up a filter deck. Um, let's just say, uh, let's just say amino acid. That's one of the highest yield topics on the MCAT. And it's the exact same. You basically just take all of these tags that are relevant to your deck and paste it, type in is new or 
is do and then you just rinse and repeat. So we'll come up to Khan Academy, biomolecules, amino acids, copy it, paste it, is new or paste, is do. Let's say that you read everything. You even want the Kaplan books here. Amino acids, peptides, proteins. That's a little bit of a bigger chapter. Is new or paste, is do. Remember, we do in all these hoes, so nine, 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 nine. And then most lapses, build, bang. Now you got your amino acid cards. I wouldn't make too many filter decks. I would either decide whether you wanted to separate it by like subjects you struggle with, or if you wanted to separate by like bigger categories like bio, biochem, ochem, etc. I would probably do the bigger categories bio, biochem, ochem. Um, but regardless, now you know how to do either one of them. Thanks for watching the video. Please share this video with someone else. Subscribe to the channel. We really need your help to grow, but we appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Good luck studying for the MCAT, and I will see you in the next one. <sighs> There's just nothing like a chemical dependency to get you out of bed in the mornings. All right, MCAT.